No one is born religious. We slowly get exposed to the good, the bad. We learn from observing others and then choose our paths. And then when we choose to come to Islam and start taking it seriously, we face a few roadblocks. And I did too. So today I'm sharing things that I wish I knew before taking Islam seriously and becoming a practicing Muslim. This is going to be a long one, but trust me, it'll be worth it if you watch it till the end, inshallah. The first thing that I wish I knew is that it takes time to practice Islam fully and correctly. Not a do it all or do nothing at all, as some people say. It is so easy to get burnt out if you go cold turkey and start cutting off everything in your life that isn't right and starting to do everything that a muslim should do we are humans and changes in life should be gradual it is so important to take your time and slowly practice islam step by step without feeling burnt out at the same time i understand it can be hard to bring these changes into your life there might be many challenges sacrifices and whatnot but we need to keep our end goal in heart which will help us get through it all the end goal being jannah and the pleasure of allah so no matter what you go through you know it's worth it when we start to take Islam seriously, we begin to learn a lot of new things. How to pray properly, the etiquettes of eating, sleeping, drinking, and everything. It becomes an overload of information. But here's the thing. Learning is a progressive thing. You learn something new every day. It's okay to not grasp all the information all at once. And there are so many ways to make it easier for yourself to learn all this stuff. Which is by spending more time with practicing Muslims and doing a little every day and increasing it as you go. I also did not know that there are some aspects of Islam which have differences in opinions. When researching answers to some questions you may have, you might find different answers that end up making you more confused. So in this case, the best way out is to rely on the Quran and the Sunnah. Read for yourself what the ayat or the hadith says in English or whatever language you need to and follow it accordingly. Another thing I wish I knew is that it's okay to ask questions. Questioning brought me to where I am today. Everything we do as Muslims has a reason behind it. But those reasons may or may not be within our understanding. And that's okay. We should try to understand our deen as much as possible and that will not only help us in practicing it wholeheartedly but also will help us further our love for Allah and the Prophet ﷺ. Now when you start you'll be in your beginner stages of your journey to being a practicing Muslim. Don't feel bad that you're at a different level to others. Be inspired by them and learn from them and once you do start leveling up don't look down at those who are still in the beginning stages of their Iman journey. Everyone will get there at their own pace and once again the best way to level up is progress every day by starting small and slow. Allah knows your intentions. You don't need others to understand you as long as Allah knows what's in your heart and that is what matters the most. Keeping that in your heart will give you the motivation you need to keep you going and no matter what others say you'll feel focused regardless. Some might find you to be too religious or too haram for them. You know the meme? I'm too halal for the haram people and too haram for the halal people. So that's what it is. You can never please everyone. So for Focus on pleasing Allah rather than trying to make others happy with how you are following your deen. Islam is easy. People make it hard. Not just haters who make us feel mocked at, but also people within our Muslim community who invent new things or say that things have to only be a certain way without having any basis from the Quran or the Sunnah to support their statements. So I would highly recommend you turn to the Quran and the Sunnah before taking anyone's words to heart. And the other thing I wish I knew was to keep Islam and culture separate. Some people mix the two things and begin to give more importance to their cultural beliefs over actual Islamic stuff. So that's another thing I've learned, which is to preside your Islam and deen over your culture. Some examples are the culture of men not helping out at home, whereas the Prophet ﷺ helped out a lot at home. Another example is wearing cultural clothes, which are revealing and taking off the hijab to wear those clothes. So those are some examples of where people put culture above Islam. So we should try to keep them both separate and put Islam above our culture, inshallah. Something else I've learned is to share your journey and feelings with others. When you first start out, you might feel like there is no support network, but there are so many people out there who understand you no matter which part of the journey they're at. I found my support network at my university in the Islamic society and other Muslim sisters in the prayer area, alhamdulillah. I'm super grateful for that. And I'm sure you can find yours too, inshallah. But please stay away from videos and people who constantly focus on just the punishments of not practicing Islam. In the Quran, Allah first mentions the beauty of Jannah and paradise, the rewards in this life and the next that we get for being on the right path and only later talks about the punishments if we don't take the previous 
this advice seriously. The problem with this is that not only does it affect your Iman, but also creates a fear of Allah rather than the love for Allah. But also when you level up in your deen, you start instilling the same fear in others because that's what you learned at the start of your journey. So yes, please stay away from those type of people and videos. Next thing I wish I knew is that it's okay to enjoy life, earn money, get good things, have Ferraris, have a good home and all of that. As long as it's not affecting the deen aspect of your life and is not turning you away from the remembrance of Allah. As long as you have good intentions and no intentions to show off and stuff, then it's okay to enjoy life and get what you want as long as you're being mindful about it and not letting it create pride in you. Now next, after you've reached a certain level in your journey, have patience for others to get there too. Also, you will start to get questions by Muslims and non-Muslims alike about why you do what you do. I found that answering them logically will only lead to either mockery or more and more questions. So I recently learned that a simple way is that whatever it is, you do it because Allah asked you to do it. Trust me, you'll see a difference when you answer it this way. Now enough about me, but what about you? What are some things in this video that you found helpful? Or what are some things that you wish you knew before you became a Muslim or a practicing Muslim? Share it with us in the comments down below. Inshallah, I hope that the things I've shared come handy. And if you like this, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, leave your beliefs and stay tuned to Bliffy.